What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the MicroStrategy SDK and I'm going to be showing you how you can harness the power of MicroStrategy in your own custom web applications using the Task API. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about SDK. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you is how you can incorporate MicroStrategy into your own custom web applications using Java and the MicroStrategy SDK, namely the Task API. Okay, now, same thing can be done. It doesn't have to be Java. You can do this, these same steps should apply to your, uh, if, you have, if you're using .NET. Um, really not much different. Uh, maybe at a later time I'll make a video showing that, uh, but it's really not much different. Um, so the task API, what is it? Well, let's go ahead and connect. I'm going to show you how you can uh, connect to the task API. So if you go into your environment, okay, and you go to your this URL here, you replace obviously my server name with your server name, slash microstrategy slash ASP, or servlet if you're using Tomcat, forward slash backslash task admin. So let's go ahead and go to this URL. Okay, now this is the task administrator. So the task API is really MicroStrategy services, basically. That's basically what they are. They are s services that you can use to execute MicroStrategy functionality um, by just bas basically by using URLs. Okay, you can log in, you can execute reports, um, you can browse, you can, there's many things you can do with this. So what you're looking at here is basically a little web interface where you can work with these services and test them. Okay, so let's go ahead, come over here, and now if you look up here this task ID, these are all the different tasks that you have to choose from. Now you can even create your own custom tasks with the SDK. I'll probably do a follow-up video showing you how to do that. Um, but yeah, these are all the tasks you have available. Now, let's find report execute. Actually, let's go to report data service here. Select that. And now what you'll see is all the parameters and descriptions that are available for this service. Okay, so your report ID... Um, anything that's any any parameters that apply to this service you'll see here. Now let's go ahead and click this other tab at the top, Builder. Now Builder is where you can interact with these services and test them out, and enter the various parameters, build the URL, and invoke the URL, and get results from the server. Okay, so let's go ahead and test test one of these services. Let's test the report data service okay now this task envelope and task content type these are essentially the format that you want the messages to be in and the responses to be in okay so we're gonna go ahead and select XML for both so now we'll get the response from our server in XML format okay now we're going to go ahead and test this out. So now what this is going to do is, this is going to log on to MicroStrategy, execute the report, and return the results as XML. So let's go ahead and enter our server name in here. Enter the user ID, password. Now, you're also going to need a style name with this. Okay, style name, again, has to do with uh, the format of the of the results. Okay, so if you don't know them, you can look them up. For, if you want XML, you can just use this one, custom XML report style. Okay. And finally, we need our report ID. And there we have it. Now, before you run before you run anything, you're going to want to also make sure you check these include checkboxes here for all the parameters you want to include. This way it knows when it builds the URL what parameters to include. Oh, project. And we're gonna act this is in the tutorial project. Okay, this looks good. Now let's scroll down. 
you're going to want to click update URL. Okay, so now you can see that built the URL for us. Now this is the if this was in a if you were going to use this service in a custom application, this is the URL you would want to use and invoke. Okay. Now, we can invoke it right from here and test it out. Let's click Invoke URL. And there you have it. Here's the response from, micro, from the MicroStrategy Intelligence Server. As you can see, the status code is 200, so it was successful. Here's our report name, demo, report ID we executed. And here's the report data. So this is just looks like sales and units by month. OK, so now. Again, this is the URL. When you if you were to execute this report, and I'll show you how to do this, we're going to go through that next. Executing this from a custom Java web application, getting the results as XML. These results you see here, and incorporating them into a web page. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now let's go over to our development environment, and I'm going to show you how this application works. First thing. Let me show you, let's show you in action. So I'll show you, first I'll show you, let's look at the end result, and then we'll step through and walk through how, how I did it. So I'll run this web application, it's a simple web page. All right, so this is our MicroStrategy SDK demo web page. Okay, so all, we, all you do is enter your report ID. Okay, click run report, and there you have it. Here's our results. So you can see the report name, report ID, and then the report results displayed on, an H on a custom HTML web page. And this was all done using Java. So now, let me walk you through how this was done. All right, so first thing I'm going to show you is I created just a simple HTML page. Okay, All it takes is one input, the report ID, and a submit button. Simple, straightforward. The next thing I did was I went ahead and created a Java helper class. Okay. Now, inside that class, I have a constructor where I set my parameters. Okay. And that's the server name, the project name, the logon info, and the base URL. Um, now this base URL is the same URL we used before to test out the services, the task administrator. Okay, so that is our base URL. Okay, and we build on top of that by adding our parameters and such, and also the style name you saw here. Okay, so that's just in my simple constructor class. Now the main function that does all the work is down here, and this is the get XML get report XML document. Okay. Now the first thing I do here is I build my URL. Okay, it's just a simple string where I add the base URL. Okay, and then I add the other parameters on top of that. So this, the end result of this is the same URL that was built using the task administrator that I demonstrated previously. Same thing, simple, straightforward. But you'll notice down here, this is where all the magic happens this get content XML function that I created. This is what returns the XML document. So let's take a look at this function here. All right, and this accepts as a parameter the URL we just built above. Okay, so let's go down to this function, get content XML, and let's take a look at what this is doing. All right, so you can see how simple this is. Okay, so what I'm doing is I just invoke a stream reader Take the URL, call open stream, put the results in a in a buffered reader, okay, and I do some outputs to the uh, some system outputs here, but that's just for basically testing, okay. And now you come down here, process. This is where I actually do the processing of the XML. All right, I use a document builder function. And then I basically just iterate through all of the elements, through all of the nodes, okay? So you just get elements by tag name. 
MicroStrategy report. This will give us all of our all of our XML nodes, and then all I do is iterate through them, okay, and create the H the uh, XML document, and then I return that to the other function. Simple. So, you know, and and this part of it is really not the important part. It, the, the, the most important part of this is really building that URL, understanding how to build that URL, invoking that URL, and then getting the results. Once you get the response, you can do what you want with it. I mean, and, and, and this is just one of the services available in the Task API. There are many other services. Um, and it's really, it's, it's what you want to do with it. So there's really not much need to go into two more specifics about what I've done here because this may not necessarily apply to what you want to do. The key takeaways are that you do have this task admin available to you, that there is a, you know, a, a web page where you can try out these services, and, that, and to show you how easy it is to actually incorporate these services into your custom web applications. So hopefully all this makes sense. If you have questions, comments, email me. Don't forget to check out my blog, jamestechtips.com. And thanks for watching. Uh, one more thing. I'll post this code to my GitHub, and I will also put a link to that in the description as well. All right, so that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. And thanks for watching.